Hello Cancer, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tarot reading for you for the week of May 24th through the 30th and I will be following it up with a few er um, sorry, a few oracle cards. Um, it's been a long day. Anyhow, um, this is a general reading, okay, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. Please take what you like and leave the rest for someone else. Also, please check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs to make sure you're getting all of the messages that pertain to you. All right. Um, we are having a full moon on the 26th. It's going to be a super flower blood moon eclipse. I know. That's a mouthful. But it is going to be um, a time for us to take advantage of the beautiful uh moon and manifest all of the things that we want to see in our lives so please keep that in mind okay let's get started with the tarot reading we're going to look at your challenge for this upcoming week we're going to get advice from spirit and an outcome spirit what do you have for cancer first card out and your challenge position is the emperor advice from spirit is the seven of wands and the outcome is judgment so in the challenge position here we have the emperor so you could be having you could be dealing with an Aries first of all um, if not I mean this card is just really talking about leadership right this uh, the emperor takes the lead the emperor is an energy of someone who is uh, the authority figure, someone, someone who is highly skilled, um, very motivated, ambitious, sometimes even powerful. Okay, so that is your challenge for this upcoming week. Advice from Spirit is the Seven of Wands. Looks like you're going to have to be standing your ground with someone. Okay, this is that card of uh, really being on the defensive and um, standing out as well. You know, sometimes this card can talk about someone who is uh, being recognized and there's other people who don't like it. Um, so that could be um, something going on for you this upcoming week. And in the outcome, we have judgment. This is something that's surfacing, something that's emerging to bring out truth, something that is going to be fully seen for what it is. And this could be painful lessons um, that need to be experienced in order for you to embrace some change that might be coming for you. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify. Spirit, what is this Emperor card here? Okay, we got the Hangman. We have the Star. The Son of Wands. The Son of Cups. And the Four of Cups. So, Cancer, I do see that there is possibly two individuals here. Um, you could possibly be uh, in the kind of waiting period, okay? This could also mean that um, there's a situation here that you could learn from. There's, there might be some confusion. Maybe you might be uh, dealing with two separate people. You might be healing from um, maybe, you know, a situation where there was two different people in your life. Put it how it resonates for you. Uh, but I do see the Son of Wands here, okay? This is the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I have the Knight of Cups here. This is uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio individual. Again, this could be your energy as the Knight of Cups, okay, which is the Son of Cups in this deck, um, possibly dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Now, someone here, I do feel that someone here has um, offered love uh, to another person and someone might have turned it down. You may have been the one to um, reject an offer from someone, okay? Um, this could be the challenge here this upcoming week because... <clears throat> It could have been done out of um, a strong belief towards, you know, something that just required you to say no. It could have been some kind of unorthodox type of uh, situation that required you to turn this offer down, 
okay? Uh, maybe it was a proposal of marriage. Maybe it was even, you know, just a date. It doesn't have to be full-blown marriage proposal, but, you know, something that was maybe just unorthodox that possibly um, brought in um, the need for um, moving past that offer and rejecting it, okay? So put it how it resonates for you, but this um, if this hasn't happened yet, this will be coming up this upcoming week, and the challenge is to get past it. Um, try to maneuver through the challenges that come with um, this type of uh, turning down something, turning down an offer of love. Okay, so you will be standing your ground. This is um, advice from spirit with the seven of wands here. We have the nine of cups. We have the devil. The world. The lovers. And the fool. Okay. So I do feel here that you are standing your ground um, with someone here who might have uh, some sort of tendency to um, have either addictions or self-doubt or insecurities or, you know, there's just this devil energy here and that could be why you are um, turning down whatever this is. I don't think that it's your wish fulfillment. You're standing your ground with what you do want. You are letting this person know what you expect and what you do want and I don't think that they can give that to you okay so I do feel that you are with the world card you are moving into a new cycle okay you're gonna make the decision to take a leap of faith towards something else I don't feel that um, this energy this um, this is Capricorn energy here the devil um, I don't feel that this is sorry I have there's a fly in here I don't feel that this uh, energy here, and you know this energy here, is not good for you, okay? It's not going to be part of um, what is good for you long term, not even short term, and you know that. So you're moving into a new cycle and making a decision to take a leap of faith elsewhere, okay? Let's see what this judgment card is. Judgment talks about, again, the painful lessons that need to be learned um, in order to make that change, in order to move forward. So I do have the Five of Pentacles, the Moon, card of Cancer. I have the Father of Pentacles. Okay. The Mother of Pentacles. So we have a pair here, a Father and Mother of Pentacles, which is the King and Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so Cancer, you are focused on your job. You're focused on your money. Um, there are things here that you don't know about this person and you're not willing to even go into why, where, how, or what. I don't think you care. I think you're ready to move forward because what has happened is the lesson that you learned was that this person only brings you lack, okay? This person only can bring you lies, deception, false truths, okay? Um, and I, it is the center of your reading here. So um, I do feel that you are focusing on your money. Um, we do have the King and Queen of Pentacles here. And this is very indicative for me as a reader. Um, talking about career, money, dependability, accountability. I feel that this is your energy very strongly here. Stating that you have manifested uh, something great for yourself. You have all the tools that you need in order to succeed in, in this endeavor regarding uh, career, regarding um, money, your money, because what happened here was that this, this person possibly left you out in the cold. This person here possibly made you feel like, um, you know, you weren't worthy or um, in, in whatever sense that is, if it's, you know, emotionally, financially, physically, um, that rose says it all. Okay. And you're coming out of that. Okay. You're still, there's still things that you're not sure of with the moon card here. You're still not sure. You don't have all the truth in front of you, but I don't think you care. I really think that you're focused on your, uh, your well-being, um, your own accountability for what happened, your own dependability as, as far as your own life is concerned. And I feel here 
that you are uh, progressing fine by yourself um, with the things that you need to do for yourself. Okay, so let's see what else comes out here. So far, Cancer, if this message has resonated with you, um, if this is your reading, uh, please like the video um, and subscribe if you haven't done so already, okay? Um, that shows me that you support the work that I do here on YouTube and the time that I spend channeling messages for you. Um, and I do appreciate your support. Also, please comment, please, please. I, I love to hear everyone's comments and I do respond to every comment, okay? So thank you so much for your support. Let's see what the message comes out. Uh, what other messages come out here for you? Spirit, what else do you have for Cancer? So yeah, the full moon is going to be on May 26th. It's going to be beautiful. The super flower blood moon eclipse. And it's going to bring up a lot of emotions for us as the collective. So Please remain grounded, remain um, positive, and um, have only good thoughts, okay? Because remember, manifestation, which is the magician here, this is really saying that you manifest what you think, what you say, and who you are. So make sure that you are thinking only positive thoughts, okay? And this card says, believe in the impossible. Beautiful. Believe in the impossible. And I do feel that you do believe in the impossible and you know what is best for you, um, what is going to serve your highest good. I really don't think that you have any more room for this kind of energy. Um, and you're really emerging victorious out of whatever uh, has gone on with this individual. Okay. And I do see that you are healing from it. So let's see what other messages. One more message before we close. Okay, and the message is honor Gaia. So Gaia is Mother Earth, okay? If you have uh, time, please take out some time to go outside, take a breath of fresh air, take a walk, um, you know, take your dog out for a walk, just be in nature if you can, if you have time, okay? It's important for us to get out into nature to be able to reconnect with Gaia, to honor Gaia. Okay, honor Mother Earth for all of the beautiful things that uh, she gives to us. Okay, so um, this is going to be a short reading this week. Um, I hope that you did enjoy it, um, and I hope that the message did resonate with you today, Cancer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close it down now, but uh, thanks for being here. And again, enjoy your beautiful full moon this upcoming week, and until next time, namaste.